All right, you guys, so let's get right into our tutorial. We are making mug rugs today, and so these are some that I've made um, with the different colors. Let me show you. They're so nice. I really like the spring colors. This is a great stash. If you got uh, stash yarn, these are great for that. Um, as you see here, I use two colors, but for the tutorial, I'm only going to use one. I'm going to show you guys how to um, actually do this stitch. Um, it is so nice. I really like the way it looks. It's like it's almost floating <laughs> going that way. So let's jump right into the tutorial, you guys. So um, you're going to need your yarn. And I am using a five millimeter hook. And I've already, we're going to chain 23. I've already chained my 23. So you guys don't have to watch me chain. <laughs> so uh, you're going to chain 23. And so you are going to um, put a, uh, after you chain 23, you are going to single crochet um, and two double crochets from the second chain from the hook. Okay. And so I'm going to do that with you. So one and two. So we're going to put a single crochet right there. And then we're going to put in the same chain, we're going to put two double crochets. Okay. One double crochet. and two double crochets. I'm trying to make sure I'm staying in the frame. <laughs> so if it looks like I'm, there we go. So now after we do that, we're going to skip two chains. One and, so one and two. And then in the third chain, we are going to do the same motion. We're going to put a single crochet single crochet and two double crochets in this chain. And you would do that motion all the way down until you get to your last two chains. Okay, so I'm gonna do mine off camera and I will meet you guys back up when I get to the last two chains. All right, you guys, so I am at my last two chains. And so we are going to skip a chain and we're going to single crochet in the last chain. So single crochet in your last chain. And then you want to chain one and turn your work. So now, since you turned your work, now you want to put a single crochet in each of your single crochets. And so I'll show you, we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to still do the same motion of a single crochet and two double crochets, but we're going to put them in the single crochet. Okay. And so the best way to know where your single crochets are, if you turn your work around, you will see your first one was a single crochet and then two doubles, correct? So if you turn in your work around, now you know your double crochets are first and then your single crochets are last. So this right here, our first one was a single crochet. So we're going to put a single crochet into that single crochet right there. And then we're going to put our two double crochets in that same single crochet. So two double crochets. In our single crochet. Get some more yarn. There. Okay, so now our next single crochet is right let me, <laughs> let me show you, <laughs> is right here, right? Because this is a double crochet, a double crochet 
and our single crochet and you can see it if you pull your work apart a little bit you'll be able to see where it is so we have a double a double and a single right so let me go ahead get everything so here we go a double crochet double crochet single crochet so we're going to put a single crochet right here and our two double crochets in that same uh, chain like we've been doing There we go and there we go guys so now you go all the way so now our next single is right here so our single crochet goes in our single crochet Come on. <laughs> and then two double crochets. Okay. And we'll do this all the way down the row. Not a double, single crochet. <laughs> single crochet to single crochet. And then, and see, you can totally, when you pull your work apart a little bit, you can totally see it. Then a double crochet, double crochet, and a double crochet. There we go. Two double crochets, one single. And so we'll do this all the way until we get to our single crochet right here. So I'm going to do the rest off camera, you guys, and I will meet you back up when I'm here at the end. All right, you guys, so I am at the end. I am at our single crochet. And so all you do now is you just uh, do a single crochet in the single crochet. And then we're gonna chain one and you're gonna turn your work. And that's it, you guys, that is the complete stitch. As you can see, if you use, you know, multi-colors, I am using mine for springtime, but you can use this for 4th of July. You can use this for so many holidays or if in your favorite colors. Um, like I said, they're great for if you have scrap yarn. Um, I, the sky's the limit when it comes to the stitch. I really am enjoying it. If you use the solid, then this is what you're going to get, um, with the solid, but it will also be nice if you can lay something on side on top of the solid. <laughs> uh, so my mind was really going when I was making these. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you really like the mug rugs and hope you try it. Uh, if you do like the video, you guys give me a big thumbs up. Um, it really helps my channel to grow. And um, I will see you guys on the next tutorial. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now. <laughs>